Hello Aries, how are you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here. If you would like to book a uh, personal reading with me, you can contact me at claritygoddesstarot at gmail.com, okay? Everything you need to know about booking your reading is below in the description box, okay guys? Please read it before you send your email, okay? Also, if you don't need a full reading, maybe you have one or two questions that you need clarity on in your life, then you can um, do that as well, okay? So let's get started. Over here to the left, we do have uh, the past position, okay? some of you this could be happening now all right it is a general message um that also means that the energies are interchangeable okay so it could be you or the other person just take it how it resonates with you all right so we have the moon card reversed the emperor the ace of cups the queen of cups reversed also the ten of swords and the knight of cups I'm seeing a lot of water energy here okay for some of you you could be dealing with a uh, cancer or scorpio or a pisces but the moon card reverse is about something coming to the light okay um <clears throat> secrets coming out okay uh maybe somebody coming out of um, anxiety or illusions or something here you could be dealing with another aries or either this could be your energy okay because next we have the emperor this is uh, about being in control okay some of you this could be the father of your kids maybe a boss at uh your job for others okay but yeah it was something that you guys needed to um you know get back in control of okay next we also have the ace of cups so this is this can represent a new beginning in love okay but to me this card rep uh, represents a lot of self-love all right so that kind of goes hand in hand with that emperor card you know when i said that uh you know you need to get back or you need it to get back you know in control of yourself or your life your emotions here okay your self-love and um, self-development, okay, is something that I strongly see after coming out of a dark period, okay? The uh, moon card does represent darkness, all right? Um, we also have the Queen of Cups reversed here. So I feel like a lot of you, this could have drained you emotionally, okay? Also, the Queen of Cups, um, you know, she can be in her feelings a lot, okay? So yeah, I see a lot of hurt feelings at one point, again, because somebody wasn't seeing things clearly here and um, there was anxiety around this connection is what I see, all right? So, yeah, there were definitely, uh, you know, some hurt feelings. Some of you just stopped caring, too, is also what I see because we have the Ten of Swords. This is about an ending, okay? Something being done over with. It could have been related to betrayal, um, you know, someone slandering your name, rumors, anything here, okay, with that uh, Ten of Swords, that represents pain and disrespect, okay? So we also have the Knight of Cups reversed, and, um, you know, this is about a love offer not coming through. Maybe someone hadn't apologized, or maybe you didn't, okay, Aries? This also represents someone who's very moody, all right, and jealous, Okay, so you could have been dealing with someone who's like this. Now, let's come here into the center, which is the current energy. So we've got the uh, four of swords reversed. So this represents someone needing to take a break, okay? This connection has been um, kind of heavy here. Or this job situation, okay? Just take it how it relates to your life, okay, guys? But someone is very tired and um, very burnt out, okay? Needing to rest. Maybe needing to get some information about something too, okay? With the uh, the, the page of swords, this represents information coming through. Um, the, the page of source can also be someone who's a little bit slick, okay, with the way that they speak to other people. So it could be some harsh communication here as well, okay, and spying. To me, I look at the page of source, either whether it's in the upright or the reverse. To me, it's still a spy card or a spying energy here, a stalker, all right, someone who's very nosy, all right. Now, we also have the, <clears throat> excuse me, the five of pentacles reversed. Could be dealing with a uh, earth sign here. All right, a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn. But, you know, someone has uh, maybe been suffering financially, okay? Maybe some financial difficulties or just feeling left out in the cold, all right, about this uh, person or this situation, okay? You could be leaving them out of the cold or they could have done this to you, but it's reversed, which is good, okay? So it kind of signifies the end uh, to financial difficulties, okay? And um, feeling left out, all right? The Five of Pentacles is about abandonment, okay? Being neglected and uh, someone's coming out of that. But I'm seeing others of you who may still be kind of codependent here, 
or just lacking confidence a little bit because we have the nine of pentacles reversed okay this is another card about uh financial uh you know resources being a little bit scarce here as well as someone being codependent okay so i don't know maybe you're married to this person or it could be you know others you're codependent on or people could be you know codependent on you but someone's feeling stuck okay with the chariot reversed and the two of wands reversed as well okay so I'm seeing where someone really wants to get out of a situation, but again, they're probably lacking uh, the, the means to do so or the confidence, okay? You also could be dealing with a cancer. So let's come up here to the top, all right, guys? So we've got the uh, the um, Strength card, the Ace of Pentacles reversed, and also the World card reversed, okay? So some of you could be waiting on closure from this person. This also can represent travel delays, all right, with the World card, but... Um, I'm also seeing Leo energy with the strength card. Again, I had just mentioned confidence, willpower, all of that. So somebody is, you know, um, picking themselves up here, okay, uh, getting it together. You know, maybe this missed opportunity here with the Ace of Pentacles has something to do with uh, why you've been feeling this way, okay? But we also have the Seven of Cups. This is, I'm seeing this is pretty good, okay? This card can represent confusion, but... Next to these other two cards, you know, I'm seeing this as good. Someone realizing that they do have other options, that they don't have to stay, you know, in this energy or with this person or where, you know, wherever this relates. Okay, so yes, the Seven of Cups is about having options. We also have the Six of Wands here. So this is about someone being exalted, okay, um, being on a pedestal, having, um, getting a lot of attention, maybe on social media. Some of you may have a uh, business online, something like that, okay, and we also have the uh, four of wands this can represent twin flame energy okay maybe a partnership here with the uh four of wands this does kind of represent um you know home life situation okay but this is good this is about communication okay getting along here and um for some of you i feel like it could be someone coming to you to help you or to uplift you okay because again i don't know if you guys can see the six of wands from here it's in the middle up there but you know, I'm seeing someone being lifted up. So, you know, with the four of wands being there, which is about communication, okay, and stability, I'm seeing, you know, some of you, someone could be coming in trying to, um, you know, raise your vibration or help you, encourage you, giving you compliments, helping you to see um, things from a new perspective, and helping you to realize that you do have options, okay? Um, so, yes, that's what I see. Now, let's come down here to the bottom. We got the Ten of Cups. The Knight of Pentacles reversed and also the Four of Cups, okay? The Eight of Swords, the Two of Pentacles, and the Eight of Cups reversed. So some of you, yes, this could definitely relate to a uh, family, okay? A family situation with the Ten of Cups. This is about happiness, though, wish fulfillment, all right, when it's in the upright. But we also have this uh, stuck energy as well, okay? With the Knight of uh, Pentacles being reversed here, this is about things being... Uh, just very slow moving okay and just difficult is what i see i'm also seeing someone who's mishandling money all right maybe that's why that two of pentacles is there so yeah this person you know they um we have the four of cups next so this is about kind of retreating a little bit spending time by yourself or them by themselves you know and rejecting a love offer here okay being kind of disengaged and i also see them feeling trapped as well okay maybe smothered by something here with the eight of swords this is about you know, being in a situation that you don't know how to get out of, okay? Maybe, again, someone's uh, juggling their money here with the Two of Pentacles. This also can represent juggling two people, okay? So, yeah, they could be juggling you and someone else. And then we have the Eight of Cups reversed, too. So, yeah, someone's not walking away from something here, okay? Because, you know, in the upright, this is about turning your back, leaving something behind. But someone's choosing to uh, stay stuck here is what I see, all right? So, let's come over here to the right with some potential outcome energy. So we've got the Three of Pentacles reversed, the Ten of Pentacles reversed, the um, Sun card reversed, the Hermit reversed, the Nine of Swords reversed, and also the King of Wands reversed. Yeah, so I'm seeing a lot of blockages here, okay? Somebody here could be, again, um, dealing with financial issues. I know I've said that quite a bit here, but I do see that here, okay, you guys? So, um, you know, the Three of Pentacles can represent a, a job loss or difficulties at work not getting along with other people someone here not doing their fair share all right and then the ten of pentacles again is about financial issues and blockages within a family structure okay um not getting along with family 
All right. Uh, then we have the, the sun card. I'm seeing Leo energy again. So some of you definitely could be dealing with one. But this is about things being hidden here, okay, when it's reversed, all right? This is about sadness, um, maybe even depression here for somebody and someone hiding, all right? Because we also have the hermit. You could be dealing with a Virgo, but the hermit is about isolation, separation, you know, um, not being around other people, going within, okay? Not really opening up and um, communicating a lot with others and it's reversed. So someone could be releasing this, all right, coming out of hiding, but, you know, that's, <clears throat> excuse me, that's good. And we also have the uh, Nine of Swords, which is about anxiety, overthinking, okay? And, um, again, that might relate back to that Eight of Swords where someone was feeling trapped here, okay? So somebody's letting themselves uh, be released from something, okay? Or, you know, if it's not physically leaving something behind, it's just a mental process, okay, you guys? A way that someone's been thinking or seeing a situation, all right? So... Um, next, we also have the King of Wands reversed. You could be dealing with a uh, person who's quite manipulative and just difficult, okay, is what I see the uh, the King of Wands. He's also very arrogant, okay, and egotistical. All right, guys, so just to kind of summarize all of this, I'm, I'm seeing a very strong uh, emphasis on somebody needing to get their confidence back, okay, release themselves from something that is, um, I'm not saying that it's really, really toxic here, because I don't see the devil card, but it's, um, it's, it is challenging, though, okay, because we have the eight of swords, all right, and watch out for someone who could uh, possibly be spying on you, maybe watching your accounts on social media. I know most of the time <laughs> we can't figure out who's watching us, right, unless they, uh, you know, view your story or something on uh, IG or something like that, but yeah, there is someone uh snooping around okay it could be in your physical environment or again online somehow but i think you know intuitively uh whoever is going through this i think you'll come out of it but again this is just a very uh challenging week here is what i see for some of you okay so i, I do hope that things get better if you guys need a um a personal reading you know how to find me okay you can contact me at clarity tarot at gmail.com okay thank you take care